Here's one for you, especially if you were on something awful back in the day. The original Let's Play Archive. You remember Vidler? Who remembers Vidler? But anyway, let's see what's uh, what's going on with this. Because like I said, I have not, I don't know anything about this most recent update. I have played Project played Project 06 before. Uh, the last one, I played the Shadow update. And I had played it a little before that as well. So let's see uh, what they have done. Uh, still no town trial, still no story stuff. As to be expected, that shit's the more superfluous stuff that I don't expect to come until the very, very end. Plus, if, again, if, you know, they're going through the trouble of fixing the game, um, <laughs> you're going to have to do a lot to the town and the town missions to uh, sort that out. So I don't know if they have any plans for that or if they've discussed it. I don't know. I don't keep up that much with this. So let's, uh, let's just, we will check out Silver because he's the new content, but I want to just uh, hop in with Sonic. I did, I tested it a little bit. But it was running at like 20 FPS because I needed to fuck with settings. Being turned into the generation <laughs> fight. Little 146 sweat. <laughs> God, that would be. I mean, that would still be kind of repetitive and boring, but it'd be a hundred times better than uh, what we ended up getting in 06. Yeah, I don't know if any like big changes are being done to bosses or anything. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. Camera is. Ooh. I might have to. I might have to adjust the inversion on the camera, the up-down inversion. <laughs> That's fucking me up. So, um, right off the bat, and again, this is uh, a big thing that they've been doing the entire time. It's just how much better it looks. Like, now, so many people talk about everything else wrong with Sonic 06 that, like, who even has the time to talk about the fact that the game is completely fucking hideous? Okay, I know the silver fighter sucks, but getting to play as silver and obliterate Sonic is unironically one of the most cathartic gaming experiences in history. Yeah, at least they, they went both the sides on that Chaos one. The was working on was updating the demo recreation project. Hmm. But uh, Sonic 06, like vanilla, has basically no lighting whatsoever in like the whole game. The entire game looks gray and washed out because I, in next gen, <laughs> that's what every game looked like for a while there. Uh, this is so much more bright and uh, colorful. Sonic is actually blue instead of like a disgusting gray color. That's a good uh, way to tell <laughs> that things have been reworked. <laughs> That's got an actual animation to it instead of just snapping. That's the thing, like, even little shit. Like, a lot of... There's a lot of stuff in Sonic 06 that either doesn't have an animation or has, like, a very stiff and bad animation. Uh, and this adds a lot of little touches here. Like, oh, look at that. Tails has his little... He's got, like, a little animation for ascending. Which is not something he had in the original game, so it just kind of looked awkward as he... Angrily stuck his ass in the air and went faster. <laughs> uh, we got the little crosshair so you can actually see where the fucking uh, ring bombs are going. Tails, hurry up. Uh, the rings haven't completely slowed the entire game to a stop, so that's a gigantic step up <laughs> from where we were in 06. <laughs> So is there a reason uh, Sonic 06 is a guilty pleasure for you, John? I mean, I just I just like it. That's the thing too, like, I'm playing this, because I want to check it out, but like, I also like based Sonic 06. I've played a lot of it. I am probably in like the top 5% of, of time spent playing 06 among the population. I have played that game a billion times. So I am, I feel like I am above all expertly qualified to be judging Project 06 with all of its nice changes and everything. Uh, control here in mock speed sections uh, made much better. Uh, far less stiff 
than it is in the real game. Also, Sonic actually accelerates instead of just reaching top speed almost instantaneously, as well as the top speed seeming to have been uh, lowered slightly, which makes it far easier to deal with. Unless you, uh, again, you're like me and you've played it a million times. You got used to the horrible jank controls. Uh, and send yourself, yeah, send yourself break dancing to your doom. Uh, like, you got this area here, this cave. I don't even think you can get here in the vanilla game. <laughs> like, it might be possible somehow. But, like, because of the way the, the how stiff the controls are, there's basically no way for you to turn in time to get up to the ramp that leads to that cave. <laughs> That's like bonus content. Oh, you actually see Sonic's mouth. His stupid grinning little ass. It's actually... It's actually kind of hard for me because I have spent so much... Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, the gold medal's really glowing. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. But uh, it's actually kind of hard for me because I have played so much of the original 06 and have adjusted my brain to the wonky ass, weird ass controls. The thing I find weird about the first stage in Sonic 2006 is that it's entirely pointless. You run after Eggman and then he gets away. Then Sonic and Tails are like, oh, dang. Well, let's go back and try Great. something else. <laughs> That is correct. But they, we gotta have the beach level. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. We got an opening cutscene here. The best way to describe Base 06 is this. It's a decent tech demo with a weird story. That's really nice Unfortunately, it got released with all the game-breaking bugs. Another year in the tank, people would only talk about its story negatively, frankly. And I feel like if it had a little more time in the oven, people would have noticed uh, some of the bigger story problems and maybe got them fixed. Um, so, played a silver a little bit, because he was at the Kingdom Valley stage in earlier demos. Uh, Silver is the one who benefits the most. Exactly, yeah. Silver is the one who benefits most from these changes. Um, actually, this is fucking me up because I could actually move at a reasonable speed. That's one of the biggest things. Uh, you might notice Silver is not moving at the speed of decomposition. Uh, they actually have him use his little flight and even his just like running speed is like way faster. Uh, so it's actually throwing me off a little bit, like I said because I'm used to how slow he moves normally. Uh, he moves much faster now. Uh, his psychokinesis effect is way better. Like, holy shit, it looks so good. <laughs> As opposed to just like a basic light green filter they tossed over him. Uh, got that, and I think, yes, they gave him a projectile. They gave him this psycho ball he can throw to stun people as well. He did not have that before. Uh, oh, <laughs> the, the dash is 100 times better. Uh, lasts longer. I can actually control during it, which is not something you could do originally. It was just like this kind of useless little dash forward that was only good for the one section the game made you use it in. So that's good. But that's different. I like that. Uh, let me see. I want to see if he fixed this. Uh, they did, actually. Uh, in the base game, you could just do this and, like, hammer on it. And you could be floating all day. Uh, not as bad as with Omega. I'm, I'm curious about, uh, actually, if Omega had his thing fixed. Where he could literally float across the entire stage and never lose altitude if you press the button fast enough. Uh, the stage itself looks slightly better, although that might just be key because there's not, like, obnoxious fucking gloom everywhere and, like, the lighting isn't completely blown out <laughs> like it is in the base game. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> look, how, look how good the... F yeah, someone mentioned... Look how good the fire looks on the Iblis monsters. Like, it actually looks like fire, like they're glowing.
Future Trunks arc sure looks different than how I remember it. <laughs> okay, no, psychokinesis, please. There we go. It's a little, the psychokinesis itself is still a little, uh, but I mean, like, that's sort of inherent to the way Silver's game plays, and also the fact that, you know, this was recreated by a person and not, and, I thought I suffered enough with Red Sun. <laughs> and not uh, a giant company. Uh, the psychokinesis is very impressive, not just in, like, how it works, but, like, how close it feels to Sonic 06's psychokinesis, like... It doesn't feel, if you've, you've played Sonic 06, it doesn't feel entirely different. It feels very close. Which is impressive because I don't know if um, this is still the case, but when this project had started, the creator, uh, Chaos X, I think their name is, had not played Sonic 06 themselves. I was like, wow, <laughs> damn. He has played the game by now. Okay, I figure I figured like this is this feels too close control wise and like physics wise for it to him to have never played it. Leave this to me. Or Dang he can finally do the thing in the proceedings. Yeah. Now time for trivia. Despite all the game's story, you know what has no problems at all? The Chaos Emeralds. Like there are no inconsistency with when each one appears. Yeah, there is a time loop element, but it's an intentional one. Also, as for Silver's speed, I like to imagine this Silver is the speed of that Super Buck Trunks form that was super useless. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, uh, Sonic 06 has a lot of plot problems, Funnily enough, the time travel isn't really one of them. <laughs> of all the things you think they would have fucked up, they didn't really fuck up the time travel. Like, yeah, you have to accept, you know, loop stuff, time travel loop, which is, you know, inherently impossible, but that's basic time travel shit. There aren't any, like, giant glaring plot holes in the time travel. There's a million other problems, but that's not one of them. Damn, it looks good. All the fucking... Again, all the input monsters lighting up. Uh, Blaze still feels great, but uh, anyone who's played Sonic 06 will tell you, for some reason, that I have no idea why, Blaze was the best character in the original Sonic 06, as far as control goes. Uh, she controlled almost perfectly, for some reason. Like, she was fast enough, she has the homing... She was basically Sonic, but more controllable. Uh, she's got the homing attack. She's got a double jump to correct mistakes. And uh, she feels just as good here. If not a little better, because the homing attack's a little snappier. I mean, it makes sense that Blaze controls kind of just like weird Sonic, because, I mean, that's basically what Rush established. Ow, oh, he knelt down slightly and got me. You fucker. I forgot how long this fucking stage is. Like, goddamn. This is a lot <laughs> for just learning to play as Silver. This stage in particular for this long. Heard she's second best next to Sonic. Well, I, I think Sonic does control the best in the game, but the problem is that you have to play the game for 20 hours to get good at controlling Sonic because it's very awkward by default. Oh, there you go. I had, to, I had to, like, charge it up to hit harder. Okay. And there we go. You can see, again, just little things. Like, you can actually see their mouths. In Sonic 06, everyone has these weird, just flat nothings during gameplay. Yeah. Blaze controls the most, like, what you would expect a regular Sonic character to control, like, in 3D. We can't go to Memphis, Tennessee's gamer pad. We're all some <laughs> You're going down to Memphis. 
All right, let's see what they managed to do with this stage. Uh, there's two stages I'm curious about. Because, oh shit. This looks so beautiful. Holy crap. And the animation is so good. God damn. It looks like this Lotus will help me jump based on how long I charge my second kinesis. I, I hate when people say Sega hire this man, but like Sega, just fi finish this. Help this guy finish it and release it. Like, Jesus Christ. All right, how busted is this still? They changed the the lighting here too. That's another thing I noticed that uh, I do know that uh, they did, and that is stages, especially ones you visit multiple times with different characters, usually at least have like a different lighting or time of day than the uh, uh, for each character, so it doesn't feel as samey. Is this a fan-made version of 06? Yes, this is Sonic Project I mean, 06. They are worried about how it would look. Just make it next year's April Fool's release. I think the Sonic community would be fine doing that. Yeah, like imagine them just like releasing it on like consoles. Probably not, but like release it on Steam officially. Why not? Damn, even the checkpoint, I missed it. Even the checkpoint had some kind of little animation going on. Oh, this is Project 06. Most of my insults don't apply. I, I, I just took PTSD. <laughs> I, I'm like, well, what, what is it when you've ascended beyond PTSD into enjoying it? That, that's what I've reached with 06. That's where we're going. The first time I played this stage, no joke. I'm thinking a half hour, probably. Uh, this stage is really fucking confusing if you don't know where you're, you're supposed to be going. Because it's like a big open area. It's like a big open square. It's not like uh, a linear, straightforward level. that would be water because I'm not used to silver moving at a reasonable speed. Cannot get over how good this game looks. I know, right? God damn. Now I'm not saying Sega hire this man, but I am saying there's this conspicuously filled out job application in his hands. <laughs> First time I saw uh, 06 was a uh, Game Grumps played through the entire game. Oh, I'm sorry. Apologies. The amount of time Sega let <laughs> Aaron Hansen be an ambassador for the Sonic brand and officially acknowledge him when he was clearly doing it as a ship post and hates Sonic is staggering. Truly unbelievable. It seems I'll need to defeat them first. Seems only is that some of they can't do anything about some of the voice acting. Some of the voice acting is still kind of weird. I got to hurry. Great. God damn. It's so it's so smooth. You just you hit them and they they move. They just go. This is a revelation. This is amazing.
In the base game, if you've never played it, those billiard balls, like, the physics do not work on them. Like, not like, oh, they're weird. Like, no, they're unfinished. The physics don't work in the in the actual uh, Sonic 06. Uh, this is the worst level in the game, in the base game, because of the, these billiard balls. Uh, the only way you can make this level playable in the base game is if you know the glitch to completely skip the billiards puzzles. I, it's so much better. Like, if you, you can just tell visually, but like when you're controlling her. Uh, in, in the base game, uh, Amy moves really slow. Her jump is this, I'm not exaggerating, the stiffest jump in the history of video games. Like, it's right up there with the air hike from Devil May Cry, except, you know, Devil May Cry isn't a fucking platformer. <laughs> but that, that control's perfect now. She's got... She's got hammer. She's got spin. She's got other spin. This is not a, something she had before. Again, instead, she would... <laughs> I don't know if this was cut content or what happened. I don't know if anyone from Sega has ever explained this. Amy could turn invisible in Sonic 06. If you held down the attack button, she would, like, pray and then turn invisible. <laughs> it made no sense. There's no explanation for what... Amy has never even been remotely hinted to have such an ability. No idea why they gave it to her. There, there's no plot explanation. They don't say anything about it. She just vanishes. <laughs> Double jump invis invisibility, she's a ninja. Yeah, it was supposed to be Espio originally. That's fine, we don't need the lives. We're okay. Was there ever a turn-based Sonic RPG? Uh, there was. Uh, it was half-finished. So the, the story and characterization was really good. Everything else was bad because they... I can't remember what... I think they had to... I don't remember if they had to stop working on it because of the Ken Penders thing or if that was after. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, Sonic Chronicles has uh, a lot of issues even the music was somehow bad the music is bad because as oh good you can still do this uh as i'm sure you know i'm sure as people have heard because the, the music is literally not done it's unfinished uh it's just like the midi placeholders and like it doesn't it, it doesn't pull instruments from from anything so it's just like it's like blank sheet music basically so it's just kind of weird beeps and boops. <laughs> I might be able to make a path leading up if I use my power over there. God, I know I keep saying it, but it is amazing that I could just like I could just like play the game. Like I don't have to be super cautious and careful and like hyper concentrate on everything all the time. Like I could just play it like it's a video game. I mean, that's also because I don't have to get S ranks because the upgrades are all given to you automatically. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be kept in the final game or not. Uh, in, like, the final version of this. I don't know if... Because uh... in this, you just have all the upgrades by default. Uh, I don't know if the shop will be implemented. Those enemies look like they're guarding that door. Let's start by getting rid of them. Is this game Sega approved? Uh, I mean, no, not in any official capacity. But so, so, I've never seen a Sonic fan game get taken down before for like copyright reasons. Uh, Sega doesn't really seem to give a shit about that. <laughs> the arrow mean. Oh, what is this? Hmm. 
Meanwhile, oh, at the Nintendo on. headquarters. <laughs> exactly. One, three, two. Okay, what is this? Hold on, let's reset this. Only if they made money off it. Yeah. Is this... Real question, is that in the, the base game? Is this in the base game? <laughs> that little switch puzzle? I've played it a million times. I have never would have thought to break those statues. Okay, no, this is definitely fan-made. This is not... This is not Sega-sanctioned level design right here. This is about. Ooh. What is this? Is this like a special upgrade for silver or something? I am intrigued. Lotus of Resilience can now curl up and spin. Oh shit! They just gave him the Sonic Chump. There we go. So, this part right here is probably, it's next to It's No Use, as probably the most infamous part of this, this whole game. The balls are inert. It doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. So, uh, these walls were not here originally that, like, help you avoid falling in these pits. And like I said before, the ball physics before were basically unusable. So I guess the lock will open if I put this ball in that hole over there. So you could be here for, you watch anyone's blind playthrough of this game, they're here for, like, at least 20 minutes. I did it. Sex averted. Usually longer, trying to get this, this ball through, just through this maze. Yeah, somehow this was the, this is less impossible. Yeah. Uh, but the, this you just go, you just do it. I just did it. It took like fucking thirty seconds. Way better. I like I said. I think my first go at this was like forty minutes. I had with my timer, something like that. I'm trying to get this stupid ball puzzle done. I mean, you still run into the problem of he has psychokinesis. He could probably just move it, <laughs> but. I understand them not going out of the way to change the entire level design. <laughs> Why is there billiards in an ancient temple? Yeah, like, like, I was going to answer, but like you said, Frontiers uh, established that canonically uh, pinball is a foundational aspect of the Sonic the Hedgehog universe since ancient times. <laughs> Yeah, so the way you would do the... Let me tell you how you actually do the billiard puzzle in the original game. You bring a crate over by the door, and then you do that that ability you saw where Silver stands on top of something and you force it upward, like you ride on top of it, and you just glitch yourself into the door frame and you just walk to the other side. Don't ever do the billiard puzzle in Face 06. There's no reason to do it. The glitch is super fucking easy. Crazy Ware, thank you for the sub. Oh, I, guess I didn't even check what her blaze was. Uh, oh, she's got a, <laughs> she's got a pounce because <laughs> she's a cat. I get it. <laughs> and then, oh, there's the tornado. Kingdom Hearts Two has screwed us again. It's got its own button now. Instead of you used to have to hold X before, and it was kind of awkward, and it didn't always work. But uh, this is much, <laughs> this is much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Silver, 
Silver, no! It seems those enemies are involved with that door somehow. <laughs> God damn! Did they think they'd stop me with this? <laughs> she just eats them up. <laughs> Let me hydrate, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, it's almost like the designers remember there's more than one button on the controller. That was another really weird aspect of 06. Like, the characters all had all of these different abilities, and for some reason, they only ever used A and X. The loading screen has speed shoes. Oh, that's... That's a whole other thing we didn't even discuss, is that, wow, the loading screens are just like normal video game loading screens instead of half a minute to minute long affairs that happen multiple times per stage. That's something I definitely hope gets fixed. Uh, so in Beso 6, you have one second here. I think the two button thing is the result of the rumored Wii port. That is... That is possible. Uh, that, that's also true, by the way, in case you don't know. Sonic 2006 has more loading screens than MG's 400 hours of pussy. <laughs> that's a hell of a claim, big if true. But, uh... Fucking hell, that is true. Uh, Sonic 06 was going to have a Wii port. Until they were like, this barely runs on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. And then they made Secret Rings instead. That's the story. That's what happened. <laughs> but um, with the loading screens, what I would hope will happen is uh, in the base game, whenever you did a town mission, you would have to talk to someone, wait for a loading screen. The dialogue that introduces the mission would load. And then you'd have to wait for another loading screen, like just to see a text box. So even if the loading screens are faster, uh, I hope uh, that gets fixed, because that's truly bizarre. Like, I don't even know what level of fuck-up could have caused an entire loading screen for a text box. <laughs> truly impressive. It's, it's almost like the game was half-finished and Sega forced them to push it out anyway. Almost. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, just check out this sick sequence break. I almost kind of want to see Sonic 06 on the Wii. Fifty-seven minutes and eighteen seconds. That's how long the loading screens take for a playthrough of the whole game. And that's if you don't get a game over. No side missions. Did you get that from something awful? Let's play. <laughs> from the contest. I think that was one of the questions back then. But, uh... No, I think I would like to see a Wii version just because of shit like uh, Unleashed. Like, maybe it would have ended up being slightly better Looks by like virtue of roll. being, like, lesser graphical quality. <laughs> so <laughs> Secret Rings is comparable to Ego Death. <laughs> it's okay, that's how I wanted to get down here. The Pokecap uh, from uh, Find the Computer Room with the Pokecap and LP is beautiful. I, to, to this day, my favorite Let's Play ever, and one of my favorite series of videos on the entire internet, is the original Something Awful Let's Play archive of Sonic 06, the, the Pokecap and Let's Play. God, I, I love it so much. I, I feel like once a year I go back to it to watch it again. 
I was trying. I'm not on a time with it with silver. I was like, I, I gotta hurry, but no, it's right. I don't. I forgot. Gotta check it out. It's great. Uh, be aware ahead of time. Audio qual uh, audio video quality is a little rough because you know it's a super duper old fucking uh, video. That was on. I remember watching it on the Divix player that was on Kung Fu Jesus's website. If anyone remembers the Divix player, which was, it was higher quality than anything else we had at the time, like fucking Google Video or whatever, but it would take fucking eons to buffer. Yep. Yep, yep. The, the, and the yeah the buffer pixels, <laughs> the Divix player. I, what I would do is I would like have two or three open at a time, so I could load them up, and then you'd have to load up some more, and then wait another hour for it to buffer. Uh, oh, I don't think Silver could grind in the base game. I think he would just phase through those, if I remember correctly. How dare I make you feel old by mentioning Divix player? Here's one for you, especially if you were on something awful back in the day. The original Let's Play Archive. You remember Vidler? Who remembers Vidler? Vidler was the uh, a video streaming website that people used to use before uh, YouTube became like this this horrible behemoth that ate everything. Vidler was great. Um, and Vidler had a feature that it wouldn't work these days because of how big videos get, but it was like perfect for something awful Let's Plays. Vidler had a feature like uh, Nico Nico has, except less intrusive, where you could leave comments and the comments will show up I on the video. I play videos and the Lost Proton John Let's Plays from that era. Yeah. Looks like I'm on a roll. Uh, Vidler had a feature where you could leave a comment and then put a timestamp on it and it would pop up at that timestamp when other people were watching. A laboratory like this under Soliana? Oh shit, and because we're in the past, they made it all uh gray and washed out. You go and leave the rest up to me. Like SoundCloud? I don't use SoundCloud, but I'm gonna assume yes. Uh, but Vidler was great. God, I, I'm so upset that that website's gone. So like all those comments and stuff are just lost to the ether. Dark Id, I I don't remember who that is. Was that a, a, a something awful Let's Player? I might have read something by them. What did they What did they do? The, 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 the dirty service. No, I wouldn't have read it. I wouldn't have watched it then. You want to? If it was Final Fantasy. Let's talk about our first Let's Players we all watched. Slow Beef's Sorry. Prime with Gilbert Godfrey Ridley, Karsik Stroke Selfie, and Duelist of the Roses, and so many classics. How about you all share your classics? Ah, oh, God, I love, I love Slow Beef and Diabetes' stuff. Uh, but I was always way more into Retsu Prey. Like, I watched Metroid Prime, I read fucking uh, Dark Seed and Dark Seed 2. But uh, I was way more into them uh, as Retsu Prey. Uh, Retsu Prey was my absolute favorite channel on all of YouTube for years. <laughs> for like a fucking decade. <laughs> Loved that shit. Uh, I understand why. Uh, even when they moved away from, you know, making fun of bad Let's Plays, uh, a lot of the long play stuff is just pure, pure fucking gold. 
all the, a lot of the long plays like King's Quest, stuff like that. The, the Dark Seed 2 one, funnily enough. Uh, when they, I cried tears of joy when they finally did meet and fuck Kingdom. <laughs> it felt like the perfect catharsis <laughs> to all of those years of terrible Flash games. <laughs> I see someone say what? Okay, so like I, I'll try to get this. Oh boy, I hope this ball has fixed physics. Oh, it does. Good. Yeah, that's way better. Uh, so uh, one of the series that they would do was uh, called Retsu Frash, where they would make fun of Newgrounds Flash games, and it became a recurring joke. Like at the end of every video, they would read the reviews and like see what was going on on the Newgrounds page for that game or that Flash animation. And in every single video, every single game, no matter what game it was, it, the <laughs> Newgrounds would recommend to them Meat and Fuck Kingdom. Like that was always the top recommended game on Newgrounds for some reason. <laughs> Because even back then, people were only using new grounds for porn. Ah, Red Supreme, so, they're so good. They're still around. Slow Beef, he's been doing Kingdom Hearts uh, lately. That's been his thing for the past, uh, like, year or two. Slow Beef's still around. Uh, Diabetes comes and goes. Uh, I think he's got, like, life stuff. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. <laughs> Newgrounds was always for porn, exactly. Um, like someone said, I, I I will be the first to admit, and hell, I think Slow Beef and Diabetes themselves will be the first ones to admit that a lot of the really early Red Supre stuff, uh, there's some shit that does not hold up. Just because of internet culture at the time was a lot meaner than it is uh, than it became, but uh, there's still a lot of good shit there. Uh, there's a lot of like I said, there's a lot of funny ones. There's a lot of especially when they're making fun of someone who's like a piece of shit and like a hundred percent deserves it. And even some of the times when the person doesn't deserve it, like I'll be the fr I, I will. I'll be the bigger man here, and I will say that sometimes they would just... Ooh, ooh, frame rate. Frame rate, ooh. There we go. Let's uh, get to the next room. Okay, we're fine. Uh, sometimes, even when they were making fun of people who didn't deserve it, it was still funny. <laughs> I can't lie to myself. Was this underwater? Uh, the, the sad Mario Party video comes to mind. I don't want to do a something awful let's play, but it's a lot of work. I doubt I can cover anything in Battle Network. EPM hasn't already. Uh, <laughs> I hope you have the 999. It's okay. It's not going to low tax anymore. <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry. But uh, I've actually used the EPM let's plays to like check post game stuff when I was doing Battle Network 2 and 3. Those were uh, very helpful, actually. <laughs> I mentioned low tax. Here comes Empire Dirt in the chat. <laughs> you could have it all. If we're gonna talk about the, the passing of low tax, I'll, I'll accidentally say my favorite thing anyone ever said about it, and then I'll be uh. I, then I'll be the horrible person. <laughs> uh, I think uh, what, one of my favorites, so I'll just move on to something else. Uh, for, we're talking about, fuck my controller. We're talking about text LPs. And uh, I think my favorite, one of my favorite series of text LPs was, I can't remember who did it. 
Um, someone did Silent Hill 2, 3, and 4 as screenshot LPs. They were amazing, and they're lost as far as I know. Last I heard for diabetes, he is busy checking his feet from Captain of Valen. Check you that feet before climbing this mountain! Stuff, so he disappears for long bouts when dealing with those so they cannot commit to anything. Mm. Also that a here in chat with Ty Tuesday are stored on my computer for safety, specifically the Earthquake <laughs> Safety <laughs> I do have the here in shot videos saved because they kept getting removed. From Earth, I think that was the guy? I think that was his name, the Silent Hill guy, I think. But I remember those were really good. That's the problem with a lot of the screenshot LPs. A lot of the screenshot LPs are, like, lost. Because, like, the screenshot hosting service they have to be... Oh, shit. Time. Let's get to Elise right away. Leave it to me. Smug-ass Sonic! Look how fucking smug he is! But, uh... Because, like, the image hosting services that they would have used at the time are, like, down or gone or stopped loading the images. <laughs> It's, uh, it's sad. Yeah, fucking photo bucket. <laughs> uh, there's also some video LPs that are basically lost, uh, because they were on Google Video, or Vidler, or fucking Blip, if you remember Blip. Blip sucked, because Blip was, like, a better alternative to YouTube in basically every way, and then they got really, really fucking greedy and annoying with ads and stuff, so everybody left, and the website went down. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Uh, I think the biggest one, I think, uh, I think that guy with the glasses used Blip for a while there. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 physics! <laughs> that tower has a big like, some of my favorites are just Puffy did gone. Video Let's Plays of the Batman Arkham series that were pretty cool. They aren't really old, but they were good. I remember one of his guests really hated Arkham Origins. I'm not familiar with any of that. But, uh, a lot, there's a lot of my favorite ones that are just gone to, for the rest of time. Um... Uh, Cat and Slybo's uh, Ocarina of Time Let's Play from way, way back when, where they, like, had a guest on every time. Uh, one of the funniest Let's Plays ever. I, I used to go back and watch it all the time. I still quote lines from it to this day with, uh, with my brothers, but that Let's Play is entirely gone. I think Cat and Slybo, Cat in recent years redid it. Like, they did a new Ocarina of Time Let's Play, I think. But, uh, yeah, the original one's totally lost. <laughs> it's locking on! <laughs> There is one, oh, there's one that I loved that uh, was able to be saved. It was actually saved by the Internet Archive. And that was, um, I think he Jotes was the head guy, but it was like every, a whole bunch of people from the, the forums. They did, uh, there used to be this Flash game you could play online with other people. It was called Draw My Thing. And it was just, it was just Pictionary. And that was absolutely fucking hilarious and was lost on basically every single uh, one of the services it was on, every like video uh, sharing service. But for some reason, somebody backed it up on the internet archive. <laughs> so I was able to find that, that's still out there. Uh, so if there's like an old Let's Play, you're like, God, I, 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 it seems like it's lost media. Check the internet archive. Someone might've backed it up for some fucking reason. Yeah, the internet is a constantly burning library of Alexandria. 
That is an incredibly, incredibly intelligent observation and absolutely correct. That's why I like when I find like a video series I really like, like these days I'll save it. I'll save it locally. And I'm like, this shit's just gonna diss the fuck up here. Clement, I'm not really too much familiar with uh, Clement's stuff. Uh, I used to watch Brain Scratch comms a shitload back in the day, but I, it's been a long time since I watched uh, any of their stuff. I did watch, uh, I think Clement's done a few video essays. I think I've seen some of those. I think, uh... The, the reason I, stopped, I just kind of fell off with Brain Scratch sometimes is just, I think... No, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I, I changed my mind. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to be mean. No reason for that. But I had my reasons. That container might help me move forward. What container, Silver? Are you having a stroke? There's no container here. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the fuck was that? Almost lost forever. Do not do not adjust your stream. That is not the stream, that is the game. That is the game doing that. That is not the stream. The stream is fine. We need to get out of this fucking area. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my fucking goodness, you got okay. We need we need to leave. This is gonna like crash my computer or something. <laughs> Don't know what that was about. <laughs> Weird glitch there. Also, thank you for the follow. Okay, yeah, game's running fine now. Just something about that room was being weird. Maybe that, yeah, maybe that's something to do with the fact that the container didn't load. Maybe something just loaded wrong in that area. Maybe that's it. The ground here is unstable with lava. It's probably because of him. Oh well, like I said, I'm not gonna hold little. I'm not gonna hold a, a bug here or there against this project that's being made totally for free and is better than Sonic 06 in basically every way. Why did I even play as Blaze for that part? Sonic 06, what are you? Are you high? Are you stupid? This X8 ass song. Well, now, now that you say it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I didn't touch the spring. I wasn't close enough. So, uh, just... <laughs> Does anyone have any more ancient internet videos they want to talk about? Make everyone feel old as fuck? <laughs> By the way, John, if you could pick what stages you wanted for Sonic Generation, what would you have chosen? I feel like there was a missed opportunity for some DLC there aside from the pinball table. The lack of egg fleet is a crime. Okay. Let's fanfic this. Okay. If I get to pick the Sonic Generation stages. 
Uh, Green Hill, that's obvious. That's not that's not negotiable. Um, I think Chemical Plant is probably either Chemical Plant or uh, Carnival Knight would have been the, the correct choice from Sonic 2. Um, Sonic 3? I probably would have picked Lava Reef Zone. I think that would have been the most interesting. Or Ice Cap. There's no ice level in uh, Generations. Uh, Sonic Adventure. Um, I think Speed Highway is a good pick. I would have picked Emerald Coast, like um, like uh, Generations DS actually did. <laughs> but uh, I absolutely would have picked Emerald Coast, like the uh, the mobile version did, the 3DS version. Uh, Sonic 2, this City Escape is still no question. That it should have been City Escape. Heroes, um, either Egg Fleet or uh, Frog Forest, I would have picked. Probably Egg Fleet. Egg Fleet probably would have been a super easy stage to make in modern Sonic style, you know. I feel like they could have done something with that. Then we move on to 06. Um, wait a minute. Am I skipping one? <laughs> no, 06 colors. Okay. Oh, that just drains it slowly now. Uh, I think Crisis City is, uh, is probably the best choice from 06. I don't think there's a better one they could have picked. Colors, I think. Play oh, here's the problem. With, uh, oh wait, Unleashed, that's the one I'm forgetting. Unleashed. Uh, Unleashed, I think, should have been Spagonia, yeah. I think that was the good pick. I think that pick was good. But then, uh, Colors, I think Planet Wisp would have been a good choice. But it needed to be entirely remade. Uh, the version, the, the, what they did with it is bad. Uh, I would argue Planet Wisp is the only bad stage in Sonic Generations. Classic or modern doesn't matter. The fact that the entire, most of the level is taken up by the generic red girders as you slowly platform upwards is so stupid. It should have been, the, especially because when you're playing modern Sonic, that opening area with like just regular Planet Wisp looks fucking amazing. It's one of the best looking things in any Sonic game. And the opening area of Planet Wisp is only like 30 seconds and then it's factory time. But uh, I think any of the colors levels could have made it honestly. Yeah, Aquarium Park. Yeah, Aquarium Park just for the fucking music. And then we would have got a classic remix of uh, Aquarium Park. And then, uh, DS pick. Uh, fucking hell, re Resort. What's it called? The, the opening level. But Sonic Generations 3Ds wasn't full of handheld stages. They picked that. They picked the opening Sonic stage. 1 colors. To 3, Sonic Advance 1 to 3, Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure, and Sonic Colors. Could have also used Knuckles, Emerald, and Blade X Rivals. Yeah, they, I think most people agree that, yes, yeah, Sonic Generations 3DS should have used Mobile Sonic. As a space. Tropical Resort, thank you. They didn't pick the opening for colors, they picked Planet Wisp. I'm talking about the 3DS version. The 3DS version picked different stages. What is that thing? Ha! 
I, I know not a lot of people played it, so there's a bunch of people who might not even know that, yes, Sonic Colors, uh, Sonic Generations 3DS has different levels than the uh, console version does. Uh, I do wish... I heard... I don't know if this has ever been confirmed, but I have heard that um, Secret Rings was supposed to have a level in uh, Sonic Generations that they, they didn't end up doing. I don't know how true that is. Which makes sense, because Sonic and the Secret Rings is just a straight line simulator anyway. It would have fit perfectly with the boost gameplay. Watch me sequence break this bitch. Uh, the 3DS version also picked different bosses, and I would argue some of them are more interesting, like the the Bio Lizard was a really weird pick, but I thought it was cool that that was in there. Uh, I just, I think the Egg Dragoon was a real weird pick in console generations. I, I don't know. Oh, there's a button here. Yeah, Black Knight and Secret Rings would have been perfect for uh, generations of the boost gameplay. Yo, John, how are you today? I am just fine, thank you for asking, new chat member. But, um, mentioned before that, yeah, the, the 3DS version should have been Mobile Sonic. Oh, oh shit. No, up, 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 up. <laughs> uh, it should have been Sonic 1 and 2, and then like Sonic Chaos, Sonic Triple Trouble, the Rush games, as opposed to just the one level that they got. Or am I hallucinating? Didn't, didn't Generation 3DS get the water level from Rush? Is that the power or am I forgetting that? <laughs> also, yeah, the Sonic Advance game should have been there. It did have that level, okay. It was just really weird that that was like the only mobile stage they did. Uh, but yeah, they could have done Sonic Advance. Sega's really weird about Acknowledging Sonic Advance. Like, I know they didn't technically made it, make it, Dimps made it, but like, they don't re-release it or anything. How do we not have fucking, like, Switch port, a Switch collection for the Sonic Advance games? Like, what's that about? We need a Sonic fucking mobile collection that's got those and then both Rush games, and then Colors DS, which is basically just a third Rush game. Yeah, oh god, yeah, like, imagine, like, Music Plant from Advance 2. Sonic Battle included, yes! God, Sonic... Sonic Battle just needs, like, a patch to fix it and make it an amazing game. Oh, we got a fancy schmancy cutscene. Nice Sonic Battle's big problem is just the repetition. Anyone who's played the game will tell you they know. Oh, look at this. Uh, the problem is just that every single fight is, okay, beat me with five lives. Okay, now beat me again with ten lives. And, like, that that's literally every single fight they do that shit. And I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Sonic... Ba that's the weird thing, too. Like, Sonic Battle is, like, canon. It is a canon Sonic game. <laughs> It's not like just a dumb spinoff. It has plot implications for Advance 3. And let's
let's see the extra stage here where we just get to play as Blaze. Miss Gemerl. Uh, Emerald is, uh, I think Emerald still has a Sonic Channel bio, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Too many parts. <laughs> Too many parts floating around. But, uh, I think, I think Emerald is still recognized as, like, an official canon character. They just, you know, have never done anything with it. And then they totally did it justice in Sonic X by having like a two episode arc about Sonic Battle. <laughs> what a waste of time that one of the, like, Sonic Battle's story is so good. They could have done so much with it and they just like threw it away. But I understand, I gotta spend more time with Chris Thorndike and the girl in the wheelchair and the, the butler. <laughs> Everyone's all these amazing characters. The race car guy. No, you see, he goes fast and Sonic also goes fast. It's deep. <laughs> Darn. Blind now. Hey, what up? I have thought about streaming Sonic Battle just because, again, I, I like it, but it's just, it's not streamable. The fuck, it, it's so, it's just too repetitive. Oh, oh, the shit, I forgot to bring this up before. I'm gonna hack and slash your penis. I just can't do this. So, like, you notice how I have a shield, and that's like a Sonic thing. So, you wouldn't think anything of it. This isn't in 06. Um, the instruction booklet, I know because I owned it, uh, mentions the shield power up, but it's never in the game. <laughs> it's not placed anywhere. That was so weird that Sonic, uh, yeah, the Sonic Battle arc was only two episodes. Yeah, there's no fucking clue why. Oh, there we go, spring. <laughs> she gave a little poof. God, they, they look so much better with just normal mouths instead of if you've seen the cutscenes in Base 06, they, the characters have very, very strange mouths. It's hard to describe what's wrong with them unless you see them. They're, they're like too small and they, they they move strangely. It's like the opposite of the Sonic Adventure mouths where they're way too big and expressive. John, do you it's read the opposite any of the of Sonic IDW comics? I do, yes. Uh, not recently. I don't know what's been going on for like the past couple months. Uh, the last thing I saw was, uh, I, I won't spoil anything for anyone who hasn't caught up, but they were, uh, they went to attack Eggman and like Shadow did a thing, a thing happened with him. That was the last thing that I read. Let's get going. All right, let's check out my boy. See what's going on. If they've made any changes to Sonic Story since the last demo. Elise, hold on tight. Okay, so this is uh, again just like little animation things. They changed Sonic's animation, so he's like doing a kick. Because in the base game, he wasn't doing anything. He was just kind of hurtling himself and Elise towards enemies at top speed. <laughs> the way she just hangs there. I, I mean, I know there's nothing. 
I know there's nothing they could do. I know there's nothing the creator of this mod could do. Like, it just... Him holding a hyper-realistic human woman is inherently absurd-looking. <laughs> While doing Sonic shit. Yeah, let's cross the sand, let's get out of here. There we go. Uh, I'm not trying to look at it like Elise's model. Uh, her leggings look a little better. Because in the base game, if you have seen Elise, uh, it just looks like she has a very bizarre bright orange tan, but only on the lower half of her body. <laughs> How was that? They, yeah, they look less like chicken legs now. <laughs> oh, let's hydrate before we get this to is a pretty cold place extreme to sports. Uh, this is another thing that's just, just unfucking usable in base 06 that has been fixed. Uh, this snowboard section here. Uh, just way easier to control, way less stiff. You could actually jump and do tricks off of things, which you could not do in... Uh, those arrows weren't there, indicating where you can jump. And if you jumped off of something in the base game, Sonic would just, like move really fast for a second and then stop and like his basic jump animation like it would register that you jumped at the correct time but there was like no animation for it <laughs> and it was very very strange also not your stream that's uh that's the game currently frame rate yeah the, the rails were super fucking weird um Sonic himself was glitchy and magnetic <laughs> in uh, the base game. Like, he would just constantly get stuck on walls and shit and, like, just sort of... He would try to ride any vertical surface. Like, it didn't matter <laughs> if physics be damned, you know? Uh, this part's way easier than in the base game. Uh, if you have played the base game, you will know that the timing on that last jump is really fucking strict. And if you don't do it right, you'll just plummet to your death and have to do the entire section all over again. Um, so Sonic has his spin dash proper in this game, as opposed to uh, 06 itself, where it was basically slow, useless crap. Uh, this spin dash is basically just the Adventure 1 spin dash, which is the best spin dash, so that makes sense. I'm all on board for that. Which means they put the slide and this on uh, the B button instead. It's on a different button. Um, he does have... Hold on. He does the little thing he does in Sonic Adventure 2. If you, like, jump out of a somersault, he's got his little animation. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be looking out for the the gems. So again, I don't know if this will be in the permanent, the final game either. But ooh, frame rate. Oh boy. Uh, the gems are hidden in the stages rather than you know purchasing them. And if you find all of them, you get a special reward. I did it. Sex averted. Uh, some of them. Hey, again, its, it's locations haven't moved since the last demo. Some of them are really fucking obnoxious to find. Uh, they have all... I only have one, so I can't show a bunch of them off, obviously. But uh, a lot of them had their functionality overhauled to be just, you know, good <laughs> or not broken. Because basically, the gems... There were two types of gems in base... Oh, fucking hell. Uh, base Sonic 06. Uh, gems that were completely worthless, and gems that snapped the entire fucking game in half. <laughs> like, the point where some of them feel like they were in, like, debug mode and they weren't worked out. Yes. That, that's another thing. Uh, all of them were busted. 
So, oh my goodness. <laughs> so Sonic has his little energy meter down there. That gets consumed when you use his gem abilities. If you read the instruction manual for the final game, it will inform you of this. It will tell you, hey, this gem meter uh, goes down when Sonic uses abilities. It doesn't. <laughs> uh, it never goes down. It is maxed out at all times. Which means certain abilities are absolutely insane because you can use them infinitely. Uh, specifically the shrinking gem with the extra jumps, which we will like. Uh, which we might find, I don't know. Again, I don't know where all the... I do not remember where the gems were. And I don't even know. Even if I did, I don't know if their locations have been changed. Also, goddamn. Frame rate. Oh, here it is. Here's one. John the first smell burnt popcorn, so either I'm having a stroke or your computer's on fire. <laughs> So the thing is, too, Sonic's gems are also supposed to level up, like, uh, kind of like Shadow does. Where his power goes up, like, the more enemies you kill and the chaos drives that you get. Oh, uh, that's supposed to happen to Sonic in the base game. It doesn't happen. Uh, they are at max power all the time from the get-go, and it never changes. Which also does not help. So you saw we had the green one that let us do the tornado attack. Uh, this one here is one of the ones that's completely busted in the base game. Because its ability, let's get rid of this guy, uh, is that you throw the cyan gem, and then Sonic will warp over to it, it'll magnet over to it. Uh, this, <laughs> along with 06's original physics, had some very interesting uh, applications to just sort of completely hurl yourself outside of the map. To not just get to areas early, but also just get to places you're not supposed to. As, like, certain characters. It's an Ender Pearl, basically. Yeah, Ender Pearl stolen from Sonic 06. Uh, the, the, the change here seems to be just There's it doesn't fly as far if you throw the sky gem after Sonic's final boss charges at you you can instantly win the fight I actually did not know about that one I was unaware shadow don't be late you're talking to me cutscenes Uh, more snowboarding, obviously, like I already explained, snowboarding is way better. Um, I like how the side of the building is actually reflective and looks like windows. That's, uh, that's a nice touch. It's okay, Sonic, just tough it out, you're too cool. This is astounding, just being able to actually freely control myself. Jump. Again, that's the bar we were at with 06. Like, wow, I just am in 100% control of my character at all times. Wow. this way uh the reticle by the way uh i meant to say this before the reticle is optional i don't think it's on by default i think i had to turn it on uh so if you don't like the reticle and you prefer the older sonic games where you just had to get a feel for the homing attack and guess uh you could do that as well there's actually a whole bunch we should check them out actually there's a whole bunch of like little extra settings that are like either quality of life things or like restoring unused animations stuff like that Restoring some like uh, visual stuff or some of the music from beta versions of the game. Um, if I recall correctly, the gem is like around 
here somewhere. I think. Thought it was. There it is. Ah, uh, this is just the this is the lightning shield that attracts rings to you. Who even builds these big ass loops? A uh, question as old as time. good about 06 it was the music yep it's been said to death that even the worst sonic games have great music unless we're talking about i don't know spinball on game gear <laughs> his world is great the first hundred times you hear it but i think the song plays a little too often throughout the game i think uh I love his world, but I, I also think they picked like the worst version of his world to be the main theme of the game. Like there are multiple official versions of his world and they're all good. But out of all of them, I think the one they picked is the worst one. <laughs> it is my least favorite. Uh, my favorite is probably the, the zebra head version. So wait, who makes the version that's in the game? Because there's a Zebrahead version, the Crush 40 version, and then what? what's the third one? What is the one that's actually in the game? Who made that? It looks like I can jump from there. Spinball worst OST, Dark Brotherhood's right there. Dark Brotherhood's not even an OST. <laughs> Again, that's sheet music. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, at least I didn't break dance to death. Whoa! Fucking rad! Whoa! I'm gonna die! One <laughs> of the favorites is Dreams of an Absolution Silver Scene. Dreams of Absolution is good. Uh, Dreams of Absolution is also Green Hill Zone for some reason. I don't know why that is. I don't dislike it, but I do think it's a weird choice. How did I do the exact same fucking mistake again? The singer and guitarist from Zebrahead made the version that's in the game, as opposed to the Zebrahead version, which is the whole band. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for a new first time chat to tell me that. Oop, there we go. And I believe Elise's theme, if I recall correctly, is, god damn it, right at the end too. I think Elise's theme is like the Sonic 2 credits theme or something like that. It's, it's something weird. You say so, Sonic. You know, this remake slash updated version of Sonic CD is weird. <laughs> Just made it. Why did the tornado explode? He got tired. <laughs> he was a little yeepy. <laughs> Had to go take a nap.
I do think it's interesting that, and again, I guess you could argue because this game was written out of the timeline, except maybe not really. What was it recent? Hold on, now I want to talk about this. What was, what was it? Something recently. I don't remember if it was the comic or a Tales Channel thing or something. Something implied that Sonic can remember the events of Sonic 06. But he's like the only one. I cannot remember what it was. I saw something recently. Fuck. Could it have been a line in Frontiers? Maybe it could have been one of the extra lines in Frontiers. Um, I do know that they updated Silver's bio to say, like, um, he went back in time at one point to save his future, but he doesn't remember how or why. Japanese Frontier script Team Sonic Racing? Maybe that was it. I just remember seeing a post where someone posted something on Twitter recently, and I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I guess the ending of Sonic 06 kind of implies that Sonic still remembers a little bit. You could get that impression from the ending. Uh... He specifically mentions Solaris in the Japanese Frontier script, huh? Why wouldn't he remember? He they erased it from existence. That Sonic 06 didn't happen. I guess that I guess you could theorize that because Sonic was there when the flame was put out, that like he was sort of outside of it all. Yes. Canonically, where's Blaze from? Okay, here's my theory on Blaze. I'm sure other people have had this theory, and here's the theory I've always went with. Because Sonic 06 still like happened. You know, like, it, it occurred, even if it was erased from time. We know because it appears in Generations. Blaze is sent somewhere at the end of Sonic 06. They don't t explain where, but she's sent to some other dimension or something to be sealed away. My theory is that she is sent to the universe where she, once time is reset, she exists in Sonic Rush. So my theory is that she still comes from Silver's future, but was sent to another dimension, and when time reset, it just sort of found a place for her in that dimension to make it seem like she had always been there. It's obviously headcanon as fuck, but it's the only explanation I could think of. And it's also the only reason I could think they would bother to kill Blaze. Like, it would be really weird to just, like, write her off like that immediately for no reason. So that that's my theory. Mega Lucario with the sub, thank you. My theory of the game is poorly written. Well, the problem is that 06 and Rush were in development at the same time. In the Japanese team Sonic Racing, Sonic is talking to Silver before a race and is like, why can't you get excited about this race like you used to get excited about trying to murder me? And Silver is like, what the fuck are you talking about? All right, yeah. So Sonic is definitely, the, the current stance is definitely that Sonic remembers 06, but he's the only one. Oh, I wasn't even talking about it, but yeah, no, Knuckles controls 100 times better. Controls way closer to Adventure, Knuckles. 
doesn't get stuck in shit. The theory would explain why Sonic Rival Story is Ifrit instead of Iblis. Yeah, there's a completely different... I mean, that's another game that was in development at the same time. So here's, here's the problem with the Silver Blaze stuff, is that... Sonic Rush, Sonic Rivals, and Sonic 06 were all in development at the exact same time, and were all supposed to feature these new characters. <laughs> and that's why their writing is all weird. Shit was not coordinated properly. <laughs> God, Sonic Rivals, that's something... God, I haven't played that in forever. I used to play the fuck out of Sonic Rivals 1 and 2. That was incredible! Trying to get all the cards and everything. I should replay those. I haven't played those in a really long time. It's... it's they're so close to being the thing... Hold on, because I think I remember where the thing is here. Let me check for it. Uh, the problem is... Again, they're, they're on the PSP. They're just sort of forgotten about. But they're the only games aside from Sonic R that just do the thing I want Sonic games to do. And that is, why the fuck is there not just a Sonic racing game where the characters run? Why doesn't this exist? Why don't they make this? This seems like the most obvious thing in the fucking world. <laughs> Yes, again, aside from Sonic R. <laughs> Are you saying Sonic R was so bad they don't want to accidentally repeat it? <laughs> That's Sonic's riding a car. <laughs> okay, there we go. Isn't that Sonic Dash? Uh, Force is mobile, I guess? But Sonic 4, Force is mobile is just Sonic Dash, but multiplayer. <laughs> Not a lot going on there. Like, we can just have Sonic R, but good. It's not like Sonic R was a bad idea. It's that Traveler's Tales had to throw it together in like five seconds because Sonic Extreme got canceled. I, hurry up and cross this scale. I actually do have to hurry because this one is time. Uh, speaking of time, we got the time slowing gem, which again, isn't broken inherently, but was broken in 06 because it had no energy cost tied to it. So you can just slow down time forever. And it made platforming stuff really easy, and like fighting enemies and shit. Yeah, Elise, I know you're gonna die or whatever, but I gotta look for... I'm trying to look for gems, at least. Just hold on, you'll be fine. There's gotta be a switch <laughs> There we go. It's in here. Yep, there it is. And it's the purple one. Hey, John, how's the fan update of 06 going? It's great. Uh, we've had some frame rate issues, but that could be glitches or just stuff on my end. Uh, let's die, actually, or the timer on this. Yeah, the red gem's like time break from Secret Rings, and that seems intent. It seems like that parallel is more intentional in uh, the remake here, where it adds the like gray effect, like uh, like time break. Uh, I will show off the purple gem and explain how it was fucking busted uh, when, when we were done with this area, because again, we're on a timer here. <laughs> Those enemies 
you think he is supposed to be the old concept for Sonic having a human girlfriend named Madonna revisited? I think that's also, entirely possible. What do you think about Dr. Regman's design in 2006? Also, also, how do you feel about Sonic Unleashed? <laughs> that was like cheating. That was, that was a lot of questions in a row. Uh, I do think it is possible that it is inspired by the concept art of Madonna from the original Sonic. Because again, this was supposed to be a re I think a reboot isn't even the way to put it because it's still the canon still existed. But like, this game was supposed to kind of be a reboot of Sonic. So I think it's possible they went back and looked at old stuff. Oh wow, the explosions actually look like explosions instead of just weird little fireballs that spawn. Um, Eggman design is, I think the Eggman design is fine, actually. Um, as long as you don't see his eyes, there are some shots where you see his eyes, and that's terrifying. I don't like that. <laughs> Do not like that at all. And, uh, Unleashed, I think Unleashed is fine. Uh, I, I don't have any criticisms of Unleashed that are, like, unique or, like, a hot take. The daytime stages are great. The Werehog is fine, but the levels go on for 50 fucking minutes, and that's unacceptable. <laughs> that's that's my critique of Unleashed. Um, one weird thing about the game is that the rank requirements are actually really well balanced and incentivize killing the commander enemies and stuff. That's one of the things I like about playing 06. Again, it's hard because sometimes a glitch will fuck you. But like trying to get it, this is like the only Sonic game where I have a good time like trying to get an S rank. Like I actually care about it and try. Granted, it's because I need the money to buy, uh, to buy Sol Sonic's fucking gems. But I do like, like, getting good at the levels and, like, doing your combos right and stuff like that. Uh, I do enjoy that aspect of the game. Hang on tight. Fuck off. I'm going right up the middle. <laughs> okay, Sonic, you go right up the middle. You do you. The Commander's Enemy thing was from Heroes, wasn't it? I don't... It's been a long time since I played Heroes, but I think Heroes had stronger enemies, but I don't think everyone died if you killed the strongest enemy. I think you still had to kill them all individually, because Heroes combat is shit. Like, how is there a Sonic game where its biggest problem is bad combat? <laughs> How's that, that? That's the biggest thing holding it back. <laughs> <Let's rip. laughs> Don't say that, Sonic. It's been a long time since I've played Heroes. I've, I've considered replaying it, but... Elise, are you alright? Yes. I think... Oh, 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 yeah, I figured this area would have some problems. This is like a dense, very dense jungle area. <laughs> cool. Sick enemy placement, bro. I need to keep that shield up till I find some rings. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, missed the timing on that. Heroes, I think it needs one. Enemies need their HP wildly fucking reduced. For sure. That's no question. Uh, and two, the controls need to... Someone needs to take a look at them. Uh, because the whole game is an ice level. I I would argue... Here, here it comes. Here comes... 
the hot take. You wanted the takes. I think Sonic 06 controls better than Heroes. I think Heroes controls like dog shit. When you are going fast in Heroes, the game becomes completely unplayable. I never, ever, ever play as the speed character in Heroes because when you're going fast, the game becomes so impossibly slippery. <laughs> I think Shadow is a better version of the control from Heroes. I think Shadow controls perfectly. I mean Shadow the Hedgehog, by the way, not like Shadow has some some miraculous control thing that makes him better than everyone else. But Shadow is like slightly slower, it feels like. I don't know how to describe it. I feel, when I play Shadow, I, I feel like I'm perfectly in control of the character. I do not feel that way in Heroes. Maybe it's just the version of Heroes I played or something, because I do know that the different versions of Heroes all perform differently. Because it was their first multi-plat game and they didn't do a good fucking job. <laughs> so, like, every version runs at a different frame rate. <laughs> Uh, they need to re-release it on fucking PC. They need to re-release the PC port. All the old Sonic games need their PC ports released, honestly. That, Riders should have its PC port released. Xbox and GameCube are very similar. In SA2, you couldn't really run a straight line, see Windy Valley, people bumping into the guardrails. I feel... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it. Maybe that's it. But I, I don't have a problem with Adventure Adventure 2. Which is why I'm really not a fan of Heroes Special Stages. As soon as you boost, you just don't have much control. At all. And then you're slamming into bombs and losing boost energy. That's the thing. I feel like, that's weird. Like I, I thought everyone, would, I thought more people would agree with me, considering everyone agrees the special stages control like dog shit. Like that's just how that's just how the game controls. The whole game controls like that. It's just you're not going fast most of the time. <laughs> the controls are like way too sensitive. I guess would be the way to describe it. I'm not telling people they're wrong if they think the game controls well, like, obviously. I'm just saying, like, in my personal opinion. Where is that fucking thing? Where is the gem for this area? I swear it's in this first section somewhere. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought it was in that cave. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna have to turn up down the draw distance or something. Riding the wind brings back fun memories. Oh. Wow. References. I don't even know if that's a used line in the final game. On the other side of the bridge I knocked down. Okay. Thank you. That's another thing too. This game restores a lot of unused dialogue that was like in the files, but just wasn't never played for whatever reason. <laughs> A 
Hey, sorry, buddy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I did it. Yeah, sick. Sex averted. <laughs> you can't just face tank your problems away, John. Watch me. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to fall. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. If you can gain momentum in Frontiers without needing to hold the boost button by simply running continuously or down slopes would be your favorite controls, I think I think Frontiers. It, uh, I, I will agree that, yeah, it seems you basically never ever let go of the boost button. And I discussed at length in the Frontiers video, uh, not video, streams, why I think that's the case. Like, why the game is designed that way. Uh, basically, people are bad at Sonic. <laughs> that's that's my uh, recurring theory as to why the Sonic controls as of late are like super handholdy and stiff and the level design is all straight because people are really fucking bad at Sonic and they need their hand held the entire time. Uh, if you, um... Leave it to me. Oh, actually, wait. We should do the other levels first. I forgot. Uh, Kingdom Valley is where the secret is. And I'll have to replay the entire fucking stage again once we have all the gems. The battleship will take off any minute. Uh, but no, yeah, it's a big... It, like I've said before, watch pre-release Frontiers footage. Watch it. Just, just go look it up. Like, look up random Twitter videos and shit of Frontiers when it was coming out and people were like playing it at Gamescom, you will tear your hair out. Whenever you watch like a press person or like a, just a random person walk up at an event and try like a kiosk demo of uh, a Sonic game, they're awful at it. <laughs> they're positively horrific at it. <laughs> and I think seeing that when they do tests and stuff is what makes Sonic Team make the controls so like automated and like toning down the momentum and stuff so it's easier to control. And in this case, just giving you a button that says, okay, now you can go full speed. Cause I think they're trying to appeal to everybody, which is perfectly fine to try to broaden your audience a little bit, but uh, they do it a little too much sometimes. Sea forces. Uh, I just remember watching like early Frontiers footage, like Sonic fans will tell you, hey, um, the fucking cyberspace stages are way too easy and straightforward. Why are they like that? Like. A toddler could beat these. And then you watch, like, again, just like random people at Gamescom or something playing the game. And it's, it's torture. It's actual torture watching these people just homing attack into walls, boost off the side of the stage, even though you're, they're going in a straight fucking line. Like, it's... <laughs> it's hard. But again, that's why the games have to be like that. And I think Frontiers finally found the balance 
by just letting you <laughs> they were like oh you have a problem with the physics okay you fucking do it <laughs> they just let you control the physics on your own and decide like how responsive the controls are and how fast your max speed is and shit like that I think that is the best way they can do it oh this has multiple hits now instead of just instantly exploding cool Also, I you notice they turned off. They quote unquote broke Tails. half of the lasers to make this segment more bearable. What's my opinion on Super Sonic 2? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I think it looks cool. Uh, I don't want to talk about what I think it is and lore implications and stuff because Frontiers isn't that old and I don't want to spoil stuff. But uh, I think it's cool. And if they're doing what I think they're doing with the story aspect of it, I think that is cool as well. Uh, we will be, like I said, I will be streaming the update when it comes out. We will check it out then. High performance coming back? Not quite. Uh, the, but the, the trailer does appear to have an upgraded version of Super Sonic. Which fixes one of the weirdest things about Sonic Frontier's plot. And again, I won't talk about it now, but... Th there's a very weird thing... A very weird decision was made uh, towards the end of Sonic Frontier's involving Super Sonic that this seems to fix. And again, we will discuss all of this when the update comes out and we are playing it. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Uh, Tails has his tail whip attacks back. You don't have to just throw bombs like you do in uh, regular 06. I forgot about that. Don't understand why they keep having Tails uh, power be to throw fake rings. Yeah, they just, 06 just made up a bunch of fucking powers for the characters for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't... I see what you're saying, Seraph. Again, I don't want to talk about plot, but I think I think there's a little bit more going on than that. Thank you, Tails. You are big help. Oh, right. No, you're right. The dummy ring bombs are from Heroes when you play as just Tails. Heroes, to be fair. The fake Who rings, I forgot. As well, too. You just likely didn't see it often because they only do it when alone. Dang. You're right, I completely forgot. Um, okay, actually, no, I think the gem is at the very end of this stage, if I recall correctly. That part, nightmare. You saw, I just blew through it, didn't even think about it. That part is horrific. Absolutely horrific in base 06. Because there's a very real chance that the homing attack fucks up, or like one of the balls moves weird or something, and you just fall to your death and there's nothing you can do about it. Like Sonic will just get hitched on one of the balls, you'll die and you'll lose your score, and then you ain't getting an S rank anymore. Oh shit. <laughs> this wind was definitely not here. This is new. I appreciate that being put there. <laughs> this is way more consistent. Uh, that way, the, the sliding under lasers like that is in 06, but it's super duper inconsistent, and half the time they'll just take damage anyway. <laughs>
So Knuckles just has his punches and they work now instead of that slow, weird ass combo thing he was forced to do in uh, the base game. Yes, we are playing Project 06, which is a fan. Re it's not even a mod, it's a fan recreation from the ground up of Sonic 2006. It's like, what if Sonic 2006 was finished? <laughs> is the basic premise. Knuckles, thanks. All right, let's roll. He doesn't say shit, Brock. Zero out of 10. Knuckles has different combos and use different button commands. Yeah, I'll, uh... I didn't really think to mess around with it, but yeah, we should... That, God, that, that would be something cool if they implemented, because there is an option for multiplayer on the menu, so I assume they do plan to implement it at some point. Um... The multiplayer originally was going to have all of the characters be playable, not just uh, Sonic Shadow and Silver. Uh, you would, That's what the Silver Medals were for originally. You would collect them, and they would unlock uh, the ability to play as the other characters in multiplayer, in the tag mode and the race mode. So I would like to see that re-implemented. Uh, blue gem is fast. We're fast gem. Basically lets you boost. Uh... Thankfully, it is usable. Uh, it's basically unusable in the base game, but in this game, because they give, they make it like the boost, so you deal damage when you touch things, it is now usable. So you're not just immediately killing yourself. <laughs> yeah, They're supposed to be added back as DLC and Sega said no. Yeah, that makes sense. That would explain where fucking Team Attack Amigo comes from which is this weird DLC that they released that was just like an extra level to play with each of the secondary characters. And it was fine, but it was just was a strange thing to be there. The multiplayer is actually uh, pretty fun, but in tag, it was fun. In versus, it was bullshit. <laughs> uh, it was absolute nonsense. Uh, because, so you guys know that in the story of Sonic 06, there is a famous boss fight against Silver the Hedgehog. Let me hydrate. <sighs> Where Silver, the big problem is that Silver can just sort of hold you in place. And there's really nothing you can do about it. That applies to the multiplayer as well. So Silver is much slower than Sonic and Shadow, but if you just play as Silver, you can hold R2 to just hold your opponent in place. Forever. As long as you don't need Psychokinesis, you can just hold them there and they can't move. It's no use, get sent to space. <laughs> Uh, you could play- here's the real scumbag one. You could play as Sonic, and because it has infinite time, you could use the time slow gem, which only slowed down the world around Sonic. It did not slow down Sonic himself in the base game, which means you could just infinitely hold the right trigger and your opponent is stuck moving at like 25% speed. <laughs> There was a lot, <laughs> it's my point. There was a lot of problems with the multiplayer played as versus, but the tag mode, which had like unique layouts where you and another person would work together to play through stages, was fun, like that. We do have all the gems, right? One, two, three. Okay, yeah. We seem to get the last one, which is at near the end of this stage. No, 
Wow. Oh, so much for that. Guess we're going the other way. Imagine slow run gem plus psycho. <laughs> like have Sonic being held holding the slow run gem while Silver is trying to play as his slow ass self with no psychokinesis and just have the ultimate war of attrition worst match you've ever had in your life. Um, there's all, oh, there was also there's also hard mode versions of stages that like slightly change layouts and enemies and stuff, but there's literally no reason to do it because the only thing you get is gold medals, which are like the replacement for emblems. But they don't do anything. <laughs> Again, presumably they would have like helped unlock the characters or something in the original game, but whatever gold medals did was not implemented, so there's no reason to collect them. Other than Chivos. Oh right, I forgot I could just jump at enemies because I have that upgrade. Oh, I forgot. He doesn't do the thing. He doesn't do the great, great, great. Yeah, and then there were very hard stages as DLC. But the, if I recall correct, I have played the DLC, but I don't think the PS3 version got the DLC. I think only the 360 version did, I think. Because I, I have played and owned both. Because I originally owned it on PS3, but the PS3 version runs worse. Uh, the PS3 version does not run at uh, the full frame rate. Do I have the flame of control? Uh, no, I don't think so. I picked up something. I picked up the this thing that lets me jump and uh, dash. Is that what it was called? Man, the staircase is damaged. Or is there another upgrade for silver? Yeah, okay, this thing. The PS3 version technically runs its, uh, it, it, yeah. Hey, not bad. Yeah, the, the thing is, the Sonic 06 technically is a game that runs at 60 FPS. Technically speaking. Sonic Team reportedly didn't understand how to make anything on Sony hardware in the mid-2000s. I mean, no one knew how to code for the PS3 at first. Because of its uh, cell architecture shit. That's why the PS3 took so long to catch up. Because just... No one... Even, like, first-party studios didn't really know. Like, go back, play the first Ratchet & Clank Future game. Game looks amazing. It runs at, like, 20 FPS. <laughs> I'm not a frame rate snob, but the frame rate is abysmal. Whatever, let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah, Kingdom Valley could have been a really cool generation stage for sure. That's like yeah, either this or Crisis City are the most uh, iconic stages for this. Confused. Is Unleashed PS3 even that good compared to Xbox and Wii? I mean, they are entirely different games. Uh, like, to the point where there's just no point in comparing them. They're different. Um, I think Unleashed on the Wii and PS2 does the Werehog better because it cuts it up into smaller chunks. And I like the way it does, like, the little hub worlds. Like the little temples and there's like the secret challenge rooms and stuff. I prefer that to just the towns full of ugly NPCs where you don't do anything really. Lotus of Power is what I picked up. Okay, yeah, no, I didn't get the other silver upgrade then. Yeah, and the medals are for your performance on a stage rather than having to find the sun and moon medals. Also, again, this is not your stream. This is frame rate. Do not adjust your television set. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually really like, uh, I like Unleashed. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. No, 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 no. Dear God. <laughs> Hold on. I'm actually checking to make sure, like, my fucking CPU isn't overheating or something. 
Oh my god, let me out of this room! I don't want to be here! Let me leave! Jesus Christ, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the best stress test for my brand new CPU, 06 crafts. Oh my goodness. I, I might have to stop and go turn the fucking settings down. Like, this is actually completely falling apart. I think this is a Unity problem. It happens when the game runs too long. We're starting the game fixes the frame rate problem. Oh, does it like just build up a cache or something? Um, so does anyone who's played this remember where the Rainbow Gem is? So I don't have to keep running around and lagging the game out. <laughs> you need all S ranks. It, it is that is the room, but you need all the S ranks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I guess we're not showing that off, sorry. Oh, uh, there's a rainbow gem in there. You get supersonic. <laughs> that's that's the reward. <laughs> sorry. That's a lot of enemies. Sonic. I hope it's not like that in the final game, because if there's one thing I hate. Silver, it's all yours. And I also a nice cutscene here. Silver actually does, like, help you. But, uh... I hate when video games have a super mega ultra collectible that you can only get after you've done everything. Because at that point, who gives a shit? What's the point? I just don't... I, I've never liked games that do that. Like, oh, here's the... You beat the Omega final boss. Here's the Ultima weapon. Like, oh, cool. Thanks. I'll go use- I'll go beat up the level 1 enemies again. That's how I'll use it. Like... Yeah, you should make it hard to get, but like... You should give it to me while there are still things to do in the game. Not just for fucking around. Even like- like it's not a- it's, it's a similar thing. It's not exactly the same, but like... The star that lets you fly in Galaxy? What, why is that even there? What's the point? It's the coolest thing imaginable, and it's there for one extra tiny optional level, which is actually just the tutorial level. And you don't actually get to use it anywhere. It's- I cannot believe that Galaxy 2 did not, like, add a bunch of shit to do with the red star. It is such an amazing idea for a thing, and they don't do anything with it. it. Yeah, at least have a new game, exactly. At least have a new game plus or something so you could carry that thing over into a new playthrough or something. 